We begin with a developing story along Victoria's Gorge Waterway, an industrial accident at Schnitzer Steel, where a barge stacked high with hundreds of scrap vehicles tipped over, sending at least 50 of them into the water. And CTV's Yvonne Raymond is live at the gorge with more. Yvonne. Cheryl, you can see where the cars fell behind me. Uh, there is a layer where the, the chunk had tipped over. We are still trying to figure out the cause or, or what happened here. That is under investigation right now, but we are hearing from more of the players involved or those who have responded. Uh, the number one priority right now appears to be getting the waterway cleaned up. The oil is a concern and the province is on site and had uh, had this to say earlier about the environmental concerns here. This is a auto recycling facility and it's covered under the BC auto recyclers regulation and there's a requirement for all hydrocarbons to be cleaned from those uh, parts before they're loaded onto that uh, barge so uh, their cleaning process is going to be under review um, but uh, pollution is minimal and it will be contained uh, by the boom. Uh, we, we would consider it non-recoverable at this time. Now, the province is under a polluter pay model. So in terms of who will be responsible for the cost of the cleanup, it will be the recycling facility, C-SPAN, or both. Um, that, is, again, is also under investigation, and that will be determined at a later date, but they are theoretically the ones who would be responsible for this cleanup. Now, earlier, this all happened earlier today around 3 o'clock, and uh, here's what some people had to say just after they saw it happen. It was pretty crazy. It all happened really fast, and, and then it flipped over, and then you could see all the cars, and they were just sort of sinking, and I feel bad because they just, the gorge is, was just finally now able to swim in, and now it's filthy again. Lots of pollution in there. There's at least 50 or more cars in there that all sunk to the bottom. How it, you know, how it could possibly even happen. It was, it was slow loading, and it slid over sideways. Eh? It's amazing. Some people are saying that they heard a really loud boom noise when it happened. We are hearing more from C-SPAN right now. They're the company that owns the barge. They say it was preparing to send the scraps to Washington. Now, again, they don't know what caused it to tip over onto its side. Um, they're waiting for the tide to go down now before they offload the cars. That will help rebalance the barge and uh, clear the scene. Obviously, they are concerned. Um, and uh, aside from that, there has been a huge response here tonight. We've got the City of Victoria, Transport Canada, the Fire Department, Victoria Police, and of course the players who are involved. Uh, one of the first people to arrive at the scene was Search and Rescue. Here's what they had to say. When we got here, uh, fire departments were already on scene along with Harbour Patrol, and they were starting to uh, get the booms across to contain the debris in the water. Uh, we ascertained immediately that there was no casualties, no people were injured, and uh, all personnel were accounted for. Now we're just standing by until the, uh, uh, the operator or C-SPAN arrives and takes charge of the scene. The barge is resting on the bottom now. It's fairly shallow in there anyway, so it, it doesn't look like it's going to tip anymore unless the load shifts. Just to recap really quickly for you, again, this barge tipped earlier this afternoon, spilling some cars into the Gorge waterway. There are booms set up to contain the area and crews working on the shoreline. That cleanup is expected to last through the weekend. Back to you, Cheryl. Okay, thanks, Yvonne Raymond, reporting live for, from the Gorge tonight. Of course, we'll have the very latest coming up tonight on CTV News at 11. Thanks, Yvonne.